I'm here now. Everyone, calm down. I know you're thinking about alerting the media. Kate the Great is here. She's a little Sweddles Maggettes. She's a little Sweddles Maggettles, but she's here. This is good. This is like a dewy, we're doing a, a summer time. It's balmy. <laughs> let's, yeah, that's gonna be great. Okay, here, here, I have to share something with you. And I don't know if anyone else deals with it, this, and I'm not gonna go into do, too much detail, but occasionally, this only happened in my adult years. I'm really spilling my guts here. I get these pains. I'm assuming they're gas pains, okay? From nowhere. Like literally, and it will and I and now I know I can feel them coming like five minutes away, and I'll be like, oh no, oh no, oh no. And like literally, I'm just doing like yoga, and I'm just like, it literally feels like I'm about to die. Like I, I'm almost about to die. That's how much pain I'm in. And I have to like pace around and like stretch my spine out. <laughs> it is infuriating. I have like run home from like blocks away and not, it doesn't even do any good because there's nothing, there's nothing going on, like nothing helps. So I'm just over here just waiting. One time it happened on a bus to New Jersey with Randy. I was almost in tears. I was like sweating, I was panicking. I need to hear what people are saying because it is, this did not used to happen. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm getting old. Insure. Would, would some insure help? Mabes? Acti Activia. Active. I don't know how that goes. Activia. Does the ARP um, magazine have some tips in it about this? <clears throat> sure hope so. Oh, no, no insure. Leslie Mills is saying don't drink insure. Okay. Oh, Maria definitely started in my 30, in my 30s and it sucks. Am I lactose intolerant? No, I have considered this. No, because I didn't have any dairy. I don't know. It's terrible. It literally, I don't know. I can't explain the, it's just terrible. <laughs> it's just terrible. I think it happens when I haven't eaten enough. Honestly, that's kind of what I noticed. Aren't you glad that we started it out this way? You thought you came here to just see some cream blush, but really we're gonna talk about gas pains, okay? Buckle up, buttercup. <sighs> All right. I feel better now though. Like I, I worked it out. Okay. All right. All right. This is what we're gonna... Thanks for, thanks for hanging in there. I appreciate it. So Randy and I are quite a pair because, um, he, sorry, <laughs> gin and tonic is really getting in there. So he got his second shot. Yes. Virginia Matthews gas pains are the worst. Yes. Um, okay. So he got his second shot. Um, hi, Sarah Kleinsmith. And which is great, but he had chills last night and he's had a fever today and he's feeling kind of under. So he's right next to me feeling very, um, you know, under the weather, but anyway, that's okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, Emily Nataro, I didn't say flatulence, okay? That's not what we're talking about. That's, it's the opposite of that. Okay, so you, those are your words, not mine. I never even say that word. In fact, I've never said it out loud until this very moment in front of 147 people and whoever else decides to watch us in the coming days, weeks, and years, months, years. So many people know my story now and know my secret. Oh, Cece, the peating pad is the only thing that helps me. Okay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay. 
Sarah said, Sarah Kleinsman said, poor Randy, my doctor says young people take it harder. Was it Moderna? Yes, yours, his was Moderna. Um, stop talking about this. Stop it. <laughs> I don't say that word, okay? Shh. No taki. No taki. Sweating, sweating. Um, no, that's the one thing I don't talk about. We don't use that word, okay? So people are gonna be watching this and they're gonna be like, what, what's, what are people saying? They're saying something terrible. I'm saying fart, y'all. No, stop it, shut up. I don't wanna hear it out of your dirty mouth. Shut up. I'll start blocking each and every one of you, okay? You'll be blocked forever. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> um, okay, so. Oh, okay, did you watch the Grammys last night? Because I did. And they were excellent. They were excellent. Um, in fact, I, I would venture to say that they were the best Grammys I have ever, um, sorry, wow, there's so many comments coming in. <clears throat> the best Grammys I've ever seen. These were outstanding. Um, oh, someone, someone sent me a, a Venmo. Hold on. Is it a, is it a pity Venmo? I hope so. Devo. Devo said, it's not much, but I have been there with the insane stomach pain and the evil yet wonderful second dose of Moder Moderna. You both will feel better tomorrow. Also, what do you... No, I'm not saying that word, okay? You sent me $10 and I don't care, okay? That's where I draw the line. Thank you, Devo. Shh. We all have our things. So... The Grammys, if you haven't seen them, try to find a way to go back and see them. Um, because I, you know, the Grammys to me are like what I look forward to the least of all, of all the award ceremonies. But I have to say, and, and the reason, well, there's lots of reasons. <laughs> I just, I tend to not care as much about the Grammys. I do love music. Um, but I, I feel like they're always just, you know, a little, it's, the music industry so they don't care right they don't they don't they just don't care um which sometimes i feel like it's a little casual for me for an award ceremony but i really thought that worked for the grammys last night because they did this whole um it was a very intimate gathering and everyone just seemed really comfortable with each other and everyone just seemed to be having a good time like i loved lizzo's um acceptance speech or no wait i'm sorry Presenting, presenting, right, she was presenting. I loved her presentation speech. I also enjoyed Megan the Stallion's acceptance speech. Just like real and just honest. It wasn't stuffy. Um, I was. I also thought the performances were great. Um, yeah, Sarah, Sarah Kleinsmith is saying great performances. I thought I would feel old, but didn't. I felt old a little bit because there are definitely people like, I did not know about these two artists who have the word baby in their names. I didn't know about the baby and Lil, Lil Baby. Is that correct? Correct. Um, had no idea. Um, also the two guys who did like the club song, like we were in the club, which, who were they? Uh, Bad Bunny and I can't remember who the other guy was. Bad Bunny. Um, that's like not my vibe. I never, but I, that's not either here nor there. I just never heard of them. Um, and I felt old. However, I will say this was the best m memoriam, m m m m memoriam I've ever seen on any show ever. Like it was just the whole production value of it was incredible of the entire Grammys. I was really impressed. Yes, Brittany Howard's performance. Amazing. Um, Brandi Carlisle before her. Brandi Carlisle is one of my favorite performers of all time if you don't know who Brandi Carlisle is 
get on it. Um, and I'm trying to think who else. Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock. Oh my God, Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock. I didn't know who that was. That everything they did is just like, they were the best. I can't believe I forgot to mention them first because they were truly incredible. Um, yeah. I didn't, Ryan K, Dua Lipa was channeling Madonna and I'm here for it. So I actually didn't really get, oh, Haim. I loved Haim as well. Yes, I loved Harry Styles. I loved um, Billie Eilish. I, I love Billie Eilish. I just think she's so genuine. Like, I just, she's so comfortable and genuine. It's just like, I I love her. I just love her. <laughs> I loved that. Um, sorry, I was looking at Jenny with a wise comment. The, the, the headpiece she was wearing, I thought that was... I was glad to see John Mayer with Marin Morris, Lisa Blancett. Now, Marin Morris's performance is one that I just really wasn't loving. I thought that was probably one of the weaker performances. I also think that John Mayer looked like the most unenthused, like rude over it. I mean, we kind of already know this about John Mayer. And I do think John Mayer is very, very talented. But wow, he was like, could barely be bothered to be there. Um, oh, Dua Lipa. I just didn't, I've never really gotten her. I mean, also it's just sort of up-tempo, sort of like, I think kind of clubby music, but not club music, like the two guys in the metallic outfits. <laughs> That's next level. But Randy explained her to me last night because I asked him to, okay? I was like, please explain Dua Lipa to me. And what did you say? She's like disco by way of 90s British pop, like Spice Girls, Robbie Williams, Kylie Minogue. Okay. So she's like, you, right, you explained it as she's like basically a throwback to disco, but like with the Spice Girls 90s twist. And then I was like, oh, that makes sense. Um... I'm just looking at your comments. Jenny with a Y doesn't know who I'm talking about. <laughs> she thought she she doesn't know any of these artists and she thinks I'm having a stroke. Jenny with a Y, you know who John Mayer is, don't you? I mean, you are a white girl, right? <laughs> that means you also know who Taylor Swift is. I, I forgot to uh, bring up Taylor Swift, but that's also because I just... <sighs> she's good you know she's it's i'm like well that was good you know i don't know i just i'm i can't it's too much it's just too much overhyped taylor swift <laughs> oh emmanuel martinez t oh son of super chat my, hey today's my birthday most importantly i hope you have a happy saint patrick's day ahead oh shoot that's coming up okay well, that'll mean nothing to us here because like, it means nothing to me anyway. I mean, I'm not Irish, okay? No, no, not trying to disparage St. Patrick's Day. But in New York, that just means like, don't go out after dark because it's amateur hour. And it's, we've had, I've had some harrowing experiences in New York City on St. Patrick's Day. Like it's, it's pretty gross. Um, I'm sure it's like that a lot of places. Maybe we should have like, um, like shepherd's pie or like corned beef and cabbage. Aren't those, is that Irish? Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah, I have a live stream that night. I could have a green drink. Yes, I could, Sarah. No, okay. I just Jameson caskmates. Okay, yeah, we're probably just gonna have Jameson caskmates. Good call. We could dye a green. <laughs> Okay, well, happy birthday to Emmanuel Martinez. Happy birthday to you. I'm gonna make this a little intimate. We're gonna take it down a notch. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emmanuel Martin, 
Ma Martinez. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Emmanuel. I just, I'm feeling like a really relaxed vibe, you know? Okay. Yes. Great. Okay. Oh, the Oscar noms came out today. That's true. I need to look at them. All I know is that Carrie Mulligan is nominated. I mean, we knew that was going to happen. And guys, if you haven't seen Promising Young Woman yet, how many times do I need to tell you? See it. Okay. It's very relevant, highly relevant. <laughs> Speaking of that, we just finished watching Alan versus Pharaoh last night, and I, I'm not going to get into that because I don't want to dampen the mood, because if there ever was something to dampen a mood, it's talking about that. But please, please watch it. Even if you're like, I don't need to see that, I'll be upset. You you do. You do need to see it, because it's actually, um, it's incredibly well done. And I even learned a few things. You know what I mean? Like, it's just interesting to see also how far we've come since that time. But really, no hot takes on that because as, of, as we said before, as Randy says, he did that shit. And that's how I feel. It's not a feeling, it's just a fact. Okay, this is what we're here to do, okay? I went all in, I went all in of the whole damn collection of the Melt Cream Blush Lights. I'm very excited. Also, look at how pretty the box is. I feel like I'm definitely gonna use this as storage because God knows I can always use more storage. Also, loving this shade. So I was like, you know, looking at the collection, I was trying to decide which shades to get, and I was like, who am I kidding? I love cream blush. I love Mel Cosmetics. I'm getting the whole thing. I don't do that very often, okay? I just, I don't. But this was, this was important. Very important. Sherry Ford is here. She sent a notification. It says, happy Monday all, start reading up on gut health. It's true. It's important. That's important. You'll need all the info as you age. Thank you, Sherry. Thanks for mentioning the lip oil drying out your lips. I thought it was just me. Oh yeah. I, I talked about that in a video that like lip oils, I don't get them because they're just drying. Feel better, Randy. I had that Moderna, M Moderna, why can't I say that? Flu for three damn days. She sent a hundred dollar Venmo. Sherry Ford, I owe you my life. I owe you my damn life. And I don't know how I'm ever going to repay you. I can't give you my firstborn because, well, I'm not doing that shit. But even if, I, even if I did want to have children, I don't think you'd want my firstborn. So I wouldn't do that to you. Um, so this is the thing about these blushes. So I obviously... I already did a lot of my, not a lot, but I did my base. So I have, I listed everything that I have on in the description box. So brows, base makeup. I haven't powdered yet because we're going to dump, I mean, we're going to do more than double blush. Um, but look at how, look at how cool this is. Oh, it came with this. This little card. And it's, it's four brand new shades and four melt blush favorites. Okay, I see. So four of them are the cream blush version of their favorite powder blush or people's favorite powder blush. And four of them are just totally brand new shades. Now, what I do want to say is these are available starting tomorrow at Sephora. I know the Sephora sales coming out, coming out, uh, coming up. <laughs> and so I thought, you know, 
this might be good timing as well. Um, but I, I did link these in the description box as well as everything um, I have on my face through Sephora. Julie R. Oh, wait. Were we talking about being moms? What's happening? What's happening? Julie R. Question. Why is, why is it people think all women need to be moms? Tired of hearing about it. <laughs> you said it, Julie R. I don't really hear about it. I don't hear about it a lot because I live... I feel like I'm I'm surrounded by New York City and like people don't I don't find that I feel a lot of pressure about that but I feel like I lived in a different place I might but I agree with you <laughs> Autumn Kinsey I don't hear about it too much but when I do it's annoying <laughs> yes <laughs> like autumn autumn just speaks so much sense katie katie i want a poke bowl every anyone else a fan let's talk about poke <laughs> i do love a poke bowl katie was saying she dm'd me i think she was saying this also in the chat is anyone else having issues with like notifications she's saying something about how when she i don't know i don't know how to explain it she goes to try to turn the notifications on and when she does she can't because it says my content isn't made for children i'm so confused i was like katie are you a minor no she's 31. i'm not getting notifications is everyone not getting notifications is anyone getting notifications anyone anyone at all <laughs> okay mary is Okay. Okay, I don't know. That's very strange. Do I have restricted mode on? No, I don't think so. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it seems like a lot of people are getting no notifications. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I have no idea. So these... So these are very exciting because like a lot of cream blush, you can use them in different ways. So you, these you can use as lipsticks and eyeshadows. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let me just open this baby up. Boop. Look at how pretty. That's a nice storage bin right there. I like that. So I'm gonna do some swatchy swatches. Ooh, and they're so well placed in there. That's nice. Okay. So let me pull up the Sephora website just so I have the deets. Okay. So there are two, wait, six, there are two shades that are only available through the Melt website. But yeah, so six of the shades are available on Sephora. Two of them, if you want them, you have to order them. Apparently, I don't know why that would be, but apparently you have to go get them from Melt. Um, oh, is Scars the Stars Beauty here? Hi, Danny. Okay, so first we have, what is this? Okay, so this is Golden Hour. And this is a bright coral with gold pearl. And that's the classic melt, melt packaging. Oh, someone is asking if Katie has it on restricted mode. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so this is, again, Golden Hour, a bright coral with gold pearls. So I'm trying to think of the best way to do this because Honestly, I'm probably going to do one on each cheek and then take my makeup off in that area and then reapply just so you can see. So, ooh, super melty, super melty. Very much like a balm. So this these retail for $22 a piece. And it's a cream blush formula in natural and pearl textures that gives your cheeks a natural glowing flush. Free of parabens, it's gluten-free and cruelty-free. Um, okay, 
great. So let's just, let's just apply this and see. I feel like it's just better to, I mean, like, what is it going to do for me to just swatch these on my arm? You know what I mean? It's, oh, damn. Damn, that's glowy. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that's... That's... I'm obsessed. I can't speak. Apparently I can't speak. <laughs> no highlighter needed. Correct. So this would definitely be, this is a shimmer finish. And that is, um, again, golden hour. I'm going to try to keep these as organized as I can here. Okay, next we have... Honey Thief. And Honey Thief is a natural finish. So it's not going to be shimmer. And it is, they just call it a staple peach. And it looks like this. Okay. So you don't have that shimmer. Oh. Oh. Boo. Pigmented pigmented I'm not mad about it though so yeah you can see this is like Dewey McDewerson's over here and this is pigmented McPink pigment the big pig, pig, pigmented sons pigmalion pigmalion Well, it's up to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like them. I don't know. It's hard for me to choose. I do like something a little bit more pigmented, but I really love that. Anyway, whatever. I have them both. What am I? I have nothing to complain about. Oh, yes. If you're here, please give this a thumbs up. It so helps my channel. Oh, Glitter Fallout is here. Glitter Fallout also got all of these. Okay, so look out for her review as well. I think she's getting hers tomorrow. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out. Well, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Hold please. I thought I put remover next to me. I did not. Hold please. Ooh, that's a close up. That's a close up. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to take that off. Kate, do they dry down or is the finish balmy? So the, I think if you put this on and then, because I haven't powdered them yet, I don't have powder on my face, but if you, like with any cream blush, if you powder it, put it, wow, can I talk? Put it down, powder it, geez louise. Um, I think it'll be, it won't be as dewy, but definitely um, I felt like the shimmer ones, remain a little bit balmy on the skin. Okay, so that's Honey Thief. I'm just gonna put on a little bit, a little bit more of this Elia um, Super Serum Skin Tint. Just super quick and easy. Should I do that thing that everyone does? Where they're like, oh, that's too much. See, that's too much. Why do people do that? Is that just for show? What is that? Can we talk about it? <sighs> anyway. All right, that's good enough. Moving on to the next two. We have, 
polished, polished. And this is a refined grapefruit. This I'm very excited about because it just looks so gorgeous. And this is a shimmer, a shimmer finish. These are coming out tomorrow. Yeah, if anyone missed that, they're all linked through Sephora. They're going to be released on Sephora tomorrow. So we're like a day ahead here. Okay, this is the um, polished, the grapefruit. Ooh, and yeah, see exactly, that's right up my alley. That's, that's a little bit more pigmented. It's that corally peachy shade. Yes, that's correct. Mm. I'm gonna put that on my lips as well. Pretty, so pretty. Um, so that's polished. And next we have Cali Dream. And Cali Dream is a, oh, this must be one that you have to get on the Melt website. Let me see. Hold please, melt.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, Cali Dream is a, come on, come on. It's a bright coral. And I think that maybe this is, <clears throat> I don't think this is a shimmer. Oh, did someone, ah, oh, Stacy, Stacy Klein endorsed. I can't usually watch live, had to take the opportunity to say, I love your channel. Thank you, Stacy. I also want to tell you guys, if you haven't caught my, the truth about being a beauty YouTuber video, highly recommend it was a really I really enjoyed making that video okay so again this is Cali dream Ooh. okay that's that's definitely like the warmest that's more of like an orangey situation tangerine if you will mm. so that's that side that's that side actually wait this is a shimmer finish too right i think it is i feel yeah it's very dewy oh emily nataro just became a member of the good job gang thank you Amanda, Kate, your spiel about cutting your hair off inspired me to chop my bangs tonight. Yes, girl, do it. Love that story. Love that journey for you. Um, okay, so again, this is Cali Dream. What do you guys think? It's pretty, right? I like this better, though. And then we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait a second. Wait a se Oh, okay, let me make sure I'm doing this right here. Oh, there are two. There are two that kind of count as a bronzer. So I'm gonna keep this on, and I'm going to use at least one of these as a bronzer. So.
Do -do 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 -do. Right, so we have Sandy Cheeks. Nope, nope, not correct. Sorry, Lynx. Lynx is a, what the hell? Lynx is a Sandy Gold. Oh my goodness gracious, get it together, Kate. Lynx is a Sandy Gold. And then Sundown is the darkest of the bronzy shades, and that's a bronze gold. So I'm gonna do one on each side of my face. I used my Fenty. Guys, I, I'm this I cannot get enough of. This I'm like obsessed with. Like I use it every day. I'm now just bronzing up a storm because I have this damn body sauce, which I know who wants to say body sauce? Nobody, okay, but it's that good. <laughs> Sandy Cheeks is SpongeBob's, what? Yeah, the squirrel, his best friend. Oh, that's cute. Okay, right, so this is Lynx. And that's, ooh, that's pretty. I'm wondering, I'm gonna take my um, refer bronzer brush and tap it in here. I have no idea how this is gonna go, okay? Okay, that's what it actually looks like. We're gonna blend it out. Okay, that's actually really nice. We're not gonna use the other one as a bronzer because if this is how bronzy this is, forget about it. <laughs> We're gonna use it as a, an eyeshadow, I think, is what I'm gonna do, because it'll be too dark for me. Linda, is that a nautical head wrap? Looking totally chic. Thank you. This is, oh, it does look kind of nautical, isn't it? I don't know what the print is. It's from Lush. It's one of their knot wraps. This does have shimmer. Yes, it does have shimmer. I'm just gonna, because I don't know if I would just use this as a blush shade. It doesn't have enough like peachy pinkiness happening to me, T happening to me. <laughs> do it to me, do it to me, cream blush lights. All right, I'm actually, but we're gonna try it because we have a lot of time here. So why the hell not, right? I'm gonna just go crazy and put every single shade on my cheeks. Going back in with the foundation. Drip, dripping it, dribble, dribble. <laughs> the ever popular dripping down the face vibe. Okay. Now we're gonna just do what I said I wasn't gonna do. We're gonna use this as a blush. This is the Lynx. Okay, I was wrong. This is really pretty <laughs> as a blush. I was incorrect. No. Okay, I'm kind of blown away by this. This is like the perfect sun-kissed situation. Oh, damn it. 
I was supposed to do it on both cheeks. All right. Forget, forget I put it there. It's like you never saw it. Someone asked if these, if I find that these um, accentuate fine lines and pores and stuff. I don't feel that way about these. I don't tend to feel that way about cream blushes or cream highlighters in general. I feel that way about powder things, but I definitely don't feel that way about this because that's gorge. Oh, Melissa, congratulations. Yes, she got her first vaccine today. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the darker shade, which is Sundown. And Sundown is a bronze gold. Oh, this is what it looks like. And again, this is a shimmer. This is a shimmer shimmer. I'm sorry, but I just have never, ever been disappointed in anything Melt Cosmetics has done. I just, everything I'm just blown away by. Well, that's pretty too, for the love of God. <sighs> okay, understood, understood. It's a very subtle difference. I feel like I've actually felt like this is gonna be a lot darker. That... Oh, thank you. Ashley Peterson just subscribed after watching me do the tint drop down my cheek. <laughs> thank you. I'm so glad. So glad that's what did it for you. Okay. I'm loving this, but we're going to move on. I feel like these are like incredibly wearable, incredibly wearable. I mean, Obviously some of the lighter shades, if you have a deeper skin tone, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. I actually don't know. I can't speak to that. Never mind. Back it up, back it up, back it up. I don't know. Because honestly, when the reason I say that is because when I was doing like um, makeup freelance, I actually did makeup for a lot of people of color. And it was a whole different ball. I mean, I was like, I had to, I had to learn. I had to, <laughs> I had to learn things. I had to teach myself because it's way different than working with this pacey situation. And a lot of things that I maybe thought weren't going to necessarily show up as well or what it did. So I actually don't know. I have nothing to offer. Wow. I really learned a lot, didn't I? Aren't you glad I shared my knowledge? <laughs> wow. was helpful okay no what are we doing now we have two left we have two left very excited and then we're gonna do we're gonna choose one for the eyes Guys, I don't know what to tell you. These are all phenom, phenomenal. Maybe I'll put a different lip lip color on. Wait, there's stuff happening in the comments that I'm like, wait, what now? Huh? Okay. Um. My lips are feeling parched. I need a, a lip balm. Hold please. Mm. Mm. Okay, now two left. We have, they're very, very different looking. How does it compare to the Shiseido blushes in your opinion? Sorry if that was already asked. Um, these are totally different. 
could not be more different from the Shiseido, the Shiseido blushes. Because the Shiseido blushes are amazing, but they're matte. They're like a whipped matte powder. Um, these are all pretty dewy, which I enjoy. Okay, so we've got Sandy Cheeks. I'm trying to get this right here so I, I don't confuse anyone. Because I know they probably look all look a little bit similar on the screen. So um, Sandy Cheeks is burnt peach oh this is a burnt peach not just peach but burnt don't don't mistake it how does it feel compared to merit they're very similar this feels very similar similar to merit and to rare beauty actually linda with a y just sent a super chat hey kate it was fun watching the grammys with you watching the grammys with you Wait, you were watching the Grammys with me? <laughs> Linda, were you here with me the whole time? And I didn't even know it. <laughs> Thank you. What did you do when you worked in Utah? Oh, um, right. So when I worked in Utah, this is probably one of my most favorite jobs I ever had. I worked at Utah Shakespeare Festival, which is a fantastic, theater oh my goodness where the oh there it is a fantastic theater company but let me tell you the town is mostly mormon and then like the actors come in for the summer and the fall and it's just like this total culture clash <laughs> I'll tell you, I would go to Walmart and I would wear, you know, like short, it's hot, it's summertime. So I would wear shorts and a tank top. I cannot tell you the looks I got from people. It was like, I, I don't even know what, like I was a damn street walker. That's <laughs> what it was like. We can't say that anymore, but I feel like maybe some people in Utah might still say it. So I love Utah. Don't take it the wrong way. Okay. Okay, so this is, again, I have to remind myself. Sandy Cheeks, Burnt Peach, let's go, let's do it. Oh, 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 it's more of a rust, if you will. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Sarah Kleinsmith also worked at Utah Shakespeare Festival. We didn't work there the same year. Oh my God, I used to blow all my Utah paycheck at Walmart and there were so many long prairie dresses and braid ladies. Yes. I mean, that's just the truth. The pinkest one they have, which I don't know how it's showing, how well it's showing up for you guys, but the grapefruit one is actually like very pinky coral, but they don't have like a straight up, like this is a pink blush. But my favorite color is coral, like a pinky coral shade. So, um, Okay, last one, last one. How am I gonna tell these apart? Cause they all look the same. I mean, not, not the actual colors, but like they're all the same packaging. So this will be fun if I wanna go back to something. <laughs> this is Daydreamer. This is another, the other one that's only available on Melt. And Daydreamer is the darkest one. It is a rich, oh, it's a rich cinnamon with pink pearl. I'm, ex I'm excited about this. I think this looks very unique. Ooh. Oh, I love that. That's the closest we've come to an Aspen cheek situation. Mm. 
<laughs> that's so good oh I like that that's one of my favorites okay I'm gonna use that as my lip my lipstick ooh Shows up a little differently on my lips, but I'm not mad about it. Okay, well, they're all really good, so I don't want to tell you. <laughs> You're gonna have to make some hard decisions. You have to get Sophie's Choice, Down and Dirty, or you just get them all. So, I don't even know what to do. Um, I'm overwhelmed, to be quite honest. Let's just take a breather and have a drink. <laughs> Let's just drink about it for a second. All right, I'll come back to the comments here. Yeah, so my favorites, I think, it's tough though. I really like this Lynx. I like the Lynx shade, which is the lighter bronzy shade. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I liked the grapefruit. I should have these facing the other way so I can see. I liked, where the hell is it? Oh. Polished. Polished is what it's called. Refined grapefruit. I liked this shade. This is the closest we can come to a pink. A pinky peach. Um, I think I'm gonna use, I wanna do a peach on my eyelids, I think. Maybe this, no, not that one. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Just going through it over here. I really liked Daydreamer, which is the one I have. It looks like an Aspen cheek. So that's this one right here. So Lynx, this is like really hard. I really like them all. Um, I think I'll just do Golden Hour was the first one I did and it was so pretty. Maybe I'll do, I'm gonna do Honey Thief on my lids because I think that's not a shimmer. Yes, correct, it's a staple peach. Oh, golden hour on my lids. Sharon wants golden hour. Throwing a wrench into things, Sharon. See how it is. Where the hell is it? Oh, here it is. Golden hour on my lids. So golden hour is the bright coral with gold pearl. All right. Where can you buy my earrings? I should have linked it. Um, the name of the designer is Vanessa Mooney. She makes fuck off earrings. And I also have the necklace as well. I mean, these are like really, really subtle for eye colors, you know, but they're pretty. I do like subtle and I do like a cream one and done eye shatter. We'll see, we'll see how I'll like leave my lids be for a few minutes and see if this sets down. I have a feeling it's probably not, it's not, because it's dewy. It's probably gonna stay a little bit dewy. But it's pretty though, it's really pretty. 
Okay. Wow. I feel overwhelmed. Let's choose one shade for both cheeks. Which should it be? What do you guys think? If I had to choose one shade to just use on my cheeks, which would it be? This is important. Yeah, I'd say add some powder eyeshadow so it doesn't crease. That's, that's a good idea. Or like maybe even just some translucent. I might use my Ilia translucent powder. Oh, the last one. We can layer, we could layer. People are saying Daydreamer, grapefruit. The last one, which is Daydream. Okay. Okay. I know it's between those for me as well. I really, really like both of those. Let me just powder my lids. Yeah, because it is starting to crease. I mean, of course, of course, because it's just a state, a straight up dewy cream. Okay, daydream, got it. There. Okay. Daydreamer, daydreamer, daydreamer. Okay. Well, let me find it here. So daydreamer is, I don't, well, I don't know. I asked you, but now I'm torn. <laughs> you told me what to do and now I'm like, but I really like the polish. I really like the grapefruit. Okay, we're gonna do one on each. Okay, everyone wants Daydreamer. All right, fine. It's already on this cheek. I think, I feel like if I just go over this cheek with it, that'll be sufficient. I'm tired of taking my makeup off. <laughs> Oh, that's so good though. They're good together. We still have to powder things, okay? We're not we're not there yet. Oh yeah, we have to double blush. Oh my god, we have so much to do. We have so much to do. <laughs> mm. Mm. Why don't you layer daydream and grapefruit? Okay. I like where your head's at. I like where your head's at. We're going to go in with polished over that because we're going to be really extra. No, this is what we're going to do. I've got it. I've got it. We're going to powder this and then do grapefruit or polished. Okay. Yes. We're working together. This is amazing. We're an amazing team. So I'm going to use my guys. This powder is the truth. Okay. It's the damn truth. <laughs> I featured it in my like top five products that I'm loving from top five products right now from brands I'm loving or whatever I called it. Hi, Meredith. Okay, see that tamped it down a little bit. We're gonna bring it back. First, we're gonna finish the eyes because I want some mascara. We could do baby eyes. We could just go with a whole like chic, like simple baby eye look with just like a heavy brow and no lash. But I mean, I wanna put mascara on, so. And we've got to, you know, we've, we've got to bring a mascara in. I mean, it wouldn't be, the night wouldn't be complete, okay? If someone didn't come in and wasn't personally, didn't feel personally attacked by my, my mascara application. So let's will it into existence. This is just my um, Charlotte Tilbes eye pencil. Just a little bit of creasy creases here. All right. 
could I could oh could I do arm swatches to see the colors side by side? Is would that be helpful for you guys? Bye, Sarah. Okay, swatches. Okay, got it. On it. I'm on it. After I do my mascara, I'm on it. Yes, I believe, yes. Uh, Mel Cosmetics is owned by, I'm going to say her name incorrectly, but she is, I believe she's Latina. Someone said she's Latina. Laura, uh, Lorna, I don't know. I should know this, but I don't know. Just a little flick. This pencil isn't sharp enough for this, but that's okay. Okay. I'm going to use the Bite Beauty Mascara. All right, don't worry. We're going to do arm swatches in a hot second. Oh, Laura Adelano. Right. Thank you. And Dana Bomar. Understood. So other things that we watched, Randy's making me watch the Marvel movies, as you know. We watched Thor and Iron Man 2. Yeah. I can deal with Iron Man. Thor, I was dying. Like I was falling asleep. I fell asleep like 10 times and we had to put something else on and then I woke up and then we finished it. He, he, apparently this is one of his least favorite, so. Okay, fine. It's extremely boring and just <clears throat> cartoony in places where it should be. Yeah, I was, uh, not Ragnarok, the, fir the, the first Thor. Camellia McRae, Thor is hot, Kate. I didn't say he wasn't hot also. I mean, yes, of course. Yes, Chris Hemsworth is hot. I'm bored. I'm bored by by that vibe. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, it's the whole, I, we've talked to this before. If you watch any of my unpopular opinions, it's like Ben Affleck. Like, yeah, he's like incredibly handsome, but eh. I think I'd probably go more for like Tom Hiddleston than him, honestly. I seen Thor Ragnarok. I just don't remember it. Did I like Black Widow and Iron Man 2? That's a great question. So I just, I think they, I, I think they make her very like breathy and overly sexual, like overly, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't love her portrayal in the beginning of this, of the Marvel series, but then it, she kind of evolves and morphs into something more badass, which I like. Ryan K, Kate, Tom Hiddleston, come on, girl. What does that mean? Is that like, come on, you're an idiot or shaman or like, what? I don't know. Explain yourself, Ryan. What are you talking about? Tom Hiddleston's great. I love Tom Hiddleston. He's hot. Good enough for Taylor Swift. Right, exactly.
Loki. Yes. Tom Hiddleston is a great dancer. What? Is that true? What do you mean? Oh, Ryan K, like no way. Ryan, I think you and I have different tastes in men, I'm assuming. <laughs> I like weird people. Case in point, who's sitting next to me right now? <sighs> it's hurtful, but it's fair. No, I'm kidding. Listen, I, I mean, I'm not kidding, but Tom Hiddleston is like, I feel like he's wildly thought of as hot by people. What, what are you talking about, Ryan? Shut up. <laughs> I didn't link the earrings. I'm sorry, I forgot to link the earrings. I'll link them afterwards, but if you really need to go look at them, just type in Vanessa Mooney. <sighs> yes, Randy is cute. Yes, he is very, that wasn't my point. I was just saying he's, I like, you know, I like a little like weird quirky stuff. Wow, that was the most articulate thing I've ever said. I like a little weird quirky stuff. <laughs> I like a little weird quirky stuff. Ron meets world. Ron and Ryan are going in on Tom Hiddleston. They're like, we will not have you like Tom Hiddleston. No one's ever liked Tom. Hiddleston, you hag. They're gonna fucking die. They're gonna die on this Tom Hiddleston Hill. I was gonna say if it kills them, but that that's redundant because they're gonna die on that hill and it is gonna kill them. And I'm not into a beefcake. How many times do I have to say it? I'm not into like a big meat head, like a big beefy cake meat head gym guy. Okay, that's not my vibe. <laughs> jo Joanna Yoss doesn't even know who I'm talking about. Joanna, whoa. Whoa, out of the loop. Okay. I'm just reading your comments now. I'm sorry. Abercrombie models don't do it for me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, David Diggs. Well, yeah, I mean, well, now we're just naming people. <laughs> I love David Diggs. See, kind of quirky, kind of different, kind of eclectic, kind of weird. Okay. <laughs> um... What else do I have to do? Okay, so we did mascara. We're done with eyes. Now I'm going to pull out the polished, which is actually perfect. And the reason it's perfect is because, hold on, let me, oh, that's right. I'm gonna do the swatches. Hold on a second. Okay, I'll do the swatches first. Oh my God, this is so complicated. It's so complicated. It's so hard. Life is so hard right now. All right. We're doing the swatches in, in really no particular order at this point because they're all out of the order they sent them in. No one cares. Um, okay, so this is <sighs> golden hour. Okay. Bright coral with gold pearl. I'm going to swatch them on the hairless part of my arm for your viewing pleasure. Okay. So there you have golden hour. Don't make me go back and repeat these again. Okay. This is, a, you have to, you have to pay attention. Stop talking about men. 
and butts and beef cakes. And metal and brawn. <laughs> okay. Sandy cheeks. Sandy cheeks. Is this one of the, oh, this is, oh, right. Burnt peach. This is a natural finish. Oh, whew, wow. So yeah, the natural finishes are, well, I mean, it makes sense that they're more pigmented. Okay, okay. Polished. Ryan K is trying to start a fucking fight. <laughs> Cause he's a bitch. Love you, Ryan K. What are, what nonsense are you saying now? You don't like Ryan Felipe. You don't like Jennifer Lopez. You don't like Dua Lipa. But Tom Hiddleston, I'm astonished. Bleh. <laughs> Why would I like any of those people you named? None of those people are people I would like. <laughs> Wait, do I like any of them? Let me see. Ryan Felipe, Jennifer Love. Yeah, no, none of those people. <sighs> okay. Now, <laughs> polished. This is what we're going to use on cheeks. And the description of this is a refined, I've, I've memorized this now. This is a refined grapefruit. We love that. We love that. <laughs> this is sundown. Sundown is a bronze gold. Sundown. Sundown. I'm the best watcher ever. Say it. Just say it. I know you want to say it. Okay. Callie Dream. Callie Dream. I feel like I'm... We're playing bingo. And this is on the Melt website. And this is a... Oh, God. This is so... I mean... Cali Dream, I think is a burnt peach. Did I make this up? Am I right? Am I wrong? Oh, no, I'm wrong. This is a bright coral. Oh, this is this is from their normal line. So they turned one of their favorite or people's favorite powder blushes into this. Liven up your cheeks and lips with this bright coral for an effortless pop of color. Layer Cali Dream powder blush on top uh, on top. Oh, I see. Layer the blush on top to intensify. Okay, great. Got it. Double blush is what they're saying. Okay. This is Cali Dream, which is a natural finish. I'm still really, like, I'm glad I did this too, because it helps me. I really love, oh, I really love that first one a lot. We're almost through them. We're almost through them. This is Daydreamer. This is also one of the ones um, on blushes or on Melt's website and not Sephora. I don't know why there are two that aren't on Sephora, but this is the Cinnamon with Pink Pearl. Aspen cheek, okay? That's the that gives you an aspen, or at least it gives me an aspen cheek. Next, we have Honey Thief. Honey Thief is a natural finish, and it is just a staple peach. The first one, see. I think I remember the first one. The first one is Golden Hour. This is Golden Hour, okay? Honey Thief. That's pretty. I really like that a lot. 
Yes, it does look like Peaches by Mac, Carrie. It does. And this is the last one. Lynx. This is like the lighter bronze shade. Yeah, a sandy gold. S sandy gold. And this is a shimmer. I probably should have these memorized by now. Do I? No. <laughs> but there they are, right next to each other. Actually, they're all they're all different. I know like right if you don't see them um one after the other, they all kind of look the same maybe. But the shades that's wait, did I Oh shoot. Hold on a second. Did I do polish? Wait. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. Yeah, I did. Oh, that's polished right there, right? Am I, have I lost my mind? Yes, that's polished. Okay, got it. Um, they all seem a bit warm toned on my screen. Is that true in real life? Um, yeah, I mean, they're all warm toned. They're all, I mean, peachy, browny, bronzy, goldy things. So yes, I would say that's correct. Um, okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna double blush with polished because that's, that's what some of the people want. This is polished. This is the, this is this one right here. You're welcome, Jessica. <laughs> no, it really was helpful. I'm glad you said that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm angry. These are all <laughs> really good. They're all really good. I don't know what to say. You might need them all. Mmm. 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 Okay. This is it, guys. This is like, I'm obsessed with these. <laughs> I knew I would be. This is not a surprise. It's not a surprise. Um, oh shit. Oh damn it. I'm dropping things. Help me. Help me, I'm poor. I'm gonna put just a little bit of powder right here. And then I'm gonna do, we're gonna go monochromatic here. And I'm gonna, I think I did this before. I can't remember what I put on my lips. So this, this is the sundown shade, but I'm gonna be extra and put polish on. <laughs> oh. I like that too. This is reminding me, I don't know if anyone had this shade, but one of my favorite shades of MAC um, lipstick is called Pretty Boy. And it's literally just like a shimmery, peachy coral color. Yes, Gina Morales, we're all getting angry. Get angry. The blushes are 20. Here's the swatches again. The blushes are $22 a piece. Which actually, I have to say, I was talking about this with Glitter Fallout the other day because we were, it hadn't been like released yet. We were speculating on how much they were going to be. And we both thought they were definitely going to be more than $22. That's the price. So the Fenty, just for comparison's sake, the, the Fenty blushes are $20 a piece. Um, <clears throat> I don't generally get like, 
Okay, here. We're gonna get real in depth here. So the Fenty is three grams in a container and you get 4.5 grams for a 20. So you actually, that's a good deal. Let's be honest. It's going to take you about a decade to get through one of these things. That's, that's the thing I always say. I'm like, I don't ever look at those things. Not because I'm trying to be cavalier, just because I'm also just like, I'm probably going to end up throwing this out in like seven years before I even get to the end of it. <laughs> Let's be honest or not, or I'm not, I'm just going to keep it around and it's going to be a dirty pan of cream blush that I can't let go. So anyway, overall consensus, I love these run, do not walk. <laughs> I'm going to back this up so you can kind of, see hold on what are people saying what are people saying yes harper Riggs. their raw honey blush is 39 dollars. i thought it would be more as well yeah so i have like their digital dust their raw that's basically what the raw honey that's what you're referring to much more expensive so yeah um I'm just reading your comments. So again, if you missed, uh, if you miss me saying this, these are available on Melt, um, but I linked them to Sephora because uh, because the Sephora sales coming up, and I figured that would be appreciated. Um, so, and they're available on Sephora as of tomorrow. And when I say tomorrow, I mean Tuesday, March sixteenth. They shall be available on the Sephora. So, um, so yeah. And if you do, I just like to just say this once in a while, just in case, because the people don't know. If you do purchase anything through my links, if you liked what you saw here and what was swatched, and if I made you want to buy these, <laughs> buy them through my links. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Anytime someone persuades you to buy something, like an influencer, and you like them and they're not an asshole person, you know, buy it through their link because they're the ones who made you want to buy it and they get they get a kickback and it, it costs you nothing. You just click on the link. So, um, this is fun. I'm really, really glad Jessica said to do this. I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> So anyway, this is a little bit shorter today, but that's okay. Um, I enjoy this. Do I have anything else to say? Do you have anything else to say? I don't think so. Um, again, of course, as always, I do this, these live streams every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. So um, please, <laughs> looking at the comments, Wait, is there a link I can buy through? Um, yeah, so, it, so, okay, so, see, you know, this is a good example <laughs> of why I say this, because people don't always know. So in the description box, which is underneath the video, I always link every everything I use. And you can shop through those links, and if you do and you purchase something, um, I or anyone else you shop through gets a small commission. So that's, that's how that works. Um, okay. So I'll see you guys here next Wednesday at 7 PM. Um, and then, and then that's all I got. And that's all I got. I'm going to take a drink. I'm going to stare at my peachy ass cheeks. Good night guys. This has been a pleasure. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.